Okay, so um, question seven is all about um, critical path analysis. So it says, given that the total flow on activity D is day one, sorry, is one day, um, find the values of W, X, Y, and Z. So we've got total flow here. So it starts at five and it can end at 17. So we've got 12 um, days in which to do this. Now it says we've got a float of one day, which means I've got one day spare time. So therefore, it must take 11 days. So W equals 11. So that's W. Let's find X. X is here. So X is the earliest at which we could do this. So if we have a look so at which we could start N. So if we have a look at here, 3, so we're at this event here, 3 plus 10 is going to be 13. So can we start this at one at 13? No, because we've also got this coming into it. And this one can start at 9. And if it's going to take 12 days to do, 9 plus 12 is going to be 21. So the minimum that this one can start is 21. So x equals 21. Um, y. So what's the latest this one can start, and then this one still gets done for 30, and this one still gets done for 17. So, I mean, in theory, we could start M at 24, and it can still be done for 30. However, if we start this one at 24, this one, which is a dummy up with a weight of 0, that won't be done for 17, which is the latest that this one can start. So therefore, in order to get this one done for 17, this one's also going to need to be 17. So Y equals 17, and Z. So I've looked down here. So when is the latest that Z can start? So Z could start at 12, and this one be done for 22. But if this one starts at 12, that's not going to be done if it takes five days by nine days. So therefore, this one is going to need to be before that this F is done for nine days. So Z equals four. So if we write those in then, so we've got 4 there, we've got 21 there, and we add 17 there. So first of all, let's find the critical path, and we're going to write the critical path at the top. So that there, that's critical path, it's got zero float. And that there, that's got zero float. That's got zero float, and this one's got zero float. So, critical path, A is going to go from zero to five, so that's going to be A. E is going to go from five to nine. And this always takes such a long time. H is going to go from nine to 17. That's H. And there's a dummy activity, and then K starts at 17, so K starts at 17, it's done by 30. And that's that one. <coughs> so we've done this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So now let's do B. B can start at zero. And it's going to take seven minutes. Now it then takes another two minutes so we can shade that one in or sometimes I do it as dotted ones but other people shade it in because it doesn't really make that much difference you're going to get the mark either way as long as you do it like that so that's B done C can start at zero and it takes three minutes or three days sorry so it takes three so it looks like that and then it can finish at four so put that one in there and D, D can start at 5, and we know it takes 11 days. So it can start at 5, it takes 11 days. So it's going to get to 16. And then that can actually finish at 17, so that's D done. E's already done. F. Now F can start at 3, it's going to take 5 days, so F can start here, it's going to take 5 days, so it goes up to 8, but we can finish at 9, 
we've got a floating one. Uh, G, G is here, so G can start at 9. That's going to take 7 days. That's going to go up to 16. And it can end at 17. There's that one there. H is already done. I. I can start at 9. It's going to take 12 days. So it's going to go up to 21. That's I. But it can finish at 22. So it's got a float on everything. It's got a float of 1 sitting there. Uh, J. Oh, this one. J can start at 3. And it's going to take 10 days. So. going to go up to 13. J. And that can go up to 22 as we finish. So that's a good bit of colouring in. Okay, that's J done. And then K. K's already been done. So L. L can start at 17. And then go up to 22. So that's an L. And it can finish at 30. That's L done. Then M. M can start at 17. And that goes on for six days. Going to go up to 23. And then that can go up to 30. And N starts at um, 21. And then that goes on for 8 days. So it goes up to 29. Then that can go up to 30. I want to make sure it looks like 30 there. And that's four marks. Four hard earned marks. Use your cascade chart to determine a lower bound for the minimum, minimum number of workers need to complete the project in the shortest possible time. You must make specific reference to times and activities. So, um, what I would probably do is I'd if you have a look down your cascade chart in different places, see where you're going to need to have the number of workers. And I would say in between 12 and 13 workers, um, yeah, 12 and 13 minutes. So you're going to need to have H. You're going to need to be doing D. Even if we move G over, that would look like that there. So G is going to need to be working. Um, again, H can only, I can only move over by one day, so that would be I. So I would need to be going. And J, when does latest we can start J? So J's got to be done by 22, so it's got to start at the latest at 10, so at 12. So J would be looking like that there. So J would need to be happening as well in between the... 12th and 13th day. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we're going to need 5 workers as the minimum um, because between 12 and 13 minutes uh, 13 mins um, H D G, I, and J must be taking place. It is decided that the company may use up to 36 days to complete the project. On diagram 2 in the answer book, constructed scheduling diagram to show how the project can be completed within 36 days using as few workers as possible. Oh no! Okay, oh no. <laughs> this one's upside down. 
Okay, so let's see what we're going to do. Is let's get rid of this. I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to have go through it myself, and then I'm going to see whether or not my answer is correct. Okay, so it took a little bit longer than I'd hoped. Um, it's quite a tricky one, this one. So the way you've got to do it, though, is you've got to... It, okay, so the question was, it decided that the company may use up 36 days to complete the project. On Diagram 2 in the answer book, construct a scheduling program to show how the project can be completed within 36 days using as few workers as possible. So what we need to do is we need to work out what that number of workers is. So we need to add up all of the activities. So we need to add up 5 plus 7 plus 3 plus, that was 11, plus 4 plus 7, 8, 10, 12, 5, 8, 6, and 5. And by doing that, we get 104. If we divide that by 36, that and then round it up, that's going to go to three workers. So the minimum number of workers is going to be three. And you're going to get one mark for saying that. Um, so we can go up to 36 days but with three workers. So what we do, let's, let's clear this one. So the first three workers are going to do A, B, and C, because they can all do that together. So A is going to go up to five. B is going to go to seven. And C is going to go to 3. Now, a lot of time with scheduling, uh, you then say, OK, then F's got the least. Um, so you'd go on to 3 minutes. Then um, worker 3, so worker 3 is free. So then he can start either J or F. Now, the issue is with starting um, F is only going to take five minutes, but J is going to take so much longer. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the long one, get that one out of the way, because we've got less workers. So if we have C doing, as a worker three doing J, that's going to take ten minutes, and that is going to take us up to thirteen. Big shout out to anyone that's seen the series Rome as well. I'll see if that is. Okay, so that's that one done. So then we fast forward A. So now A can either do 4 or can do 11. Now again, just like before, we want to get the bigger ones out of the way first of all. Um, because if they're delayed, it's going to cause a major delay on everything else. So we're going to get worker 1 doing D, which is 11. So 5, that takes us up to 16. So that's that one done. And now what we want is E out of the way, so that we can start doing all the other ones. So B, he can do E, so that's going to take 4, so that's going to be 7 through to 11. And that's going to be E. Okay, so now fast forward the clock to 11, uh, sorry, 11 days, and now worker 2 is free. So we have a look at all the big ones left, so we've got this one here, so I. So I'm going to give that one to worker 2. So it's going to take 12 days, so that's going to take us up to 23 days. So he's out of commission for a while, so that's going to be uh, I. Then fast forward the clock to 13 days when worker 3 becomes free. Now, the other big one left is going to be this 13, but H and G have got to be done beforehand. So let's get the biggest one out of the way. So let's get him doing H. It's not necessarily in, didn't mean to be. Um, sexist there. So 13 plus the 8 is going to be 21. So that's going to be H. Fast forward the clock until 16. And then work 1 comes free and then they can do G. Oh, hang on. Sorry, um, they did D there. Sorry. So we can now do G, which is going to take 7 days. So 6 and go through to 23. So that's that one done. And now, we're doing this dummy arc as well. Now we can start K, and that's going to be the crucial one. Now, bear in mind it said 36 days to complete. What we can do, I mean we can start 
we can't start um, k here. That's a common mistake. We can't start k there because g and h have both got to be done. g and h have both got to be done before k starts. And the fact that we've got 23 days here and then another 13 days is going to take us up to 36. So that gives us a clue that we could well have got the solution here. So we've now done k. So now we've got um, plus all the clock until 21. But we can't start n yet because i hasn't finished. So if we've finished h, we can start m, which is the next biggest, or we can start l. So let's start the biggest first. So we can start m. So 21 add 6 is going to be 27. And then we fast forward to i. So now i is finished. Now we've got two left. We've got n and we've got l. So n is going to be the biggest one, so start that one. So 22 plus our 8 takes us up to 30. So that's 23, isn't it? So it's going to take us up to 31. So ignore that line. And that's going to be n. And we've just got L to do. So we fast forward the clock until 27 days. And then look at 3 can start doing L. So that's 5 days. Start from... 27 takes up to 32. There you go. And it's all done by the 36-day deadline. And that's how you do that question. Not an easy question at all for that one. Um, but that's how you do it. I mean, the key thing for this one is, I mean, even if you didn't do well on this question, um, the you're going to get one mark for finding out the minimum number of workers. And that's for adding up all of the 10, 8, 12, 5, 3, and all the other um, durations, then dividing it by 36. Okay, thank you very much, and I hope you did alright on that question.